to my channel. My name is Sarah V. If you don't already know, and if you do know, then groovy. Thanks for coming back. Um, just a disclaimer, I do drink, smoke, and cuss on this channel. I'm 100% myself, and always am. All right, so it is time for my monthly movie review. Now, I kind of contemplated about doing one this month or not, because I know in December I did two, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll leave all that shit linked below. Um, but yeah, I saw that, of course, most of these come from Tubi. None of the shit sponsored. It's just, I watch Tubi and they happen to have a lot of really cool rockabilly vintage themed shit on there. Um, so yeah, uh, once a month, if you are new here, I try to review movies that other rockabilly inclined or vintage inclined folks might find interesting you know, watch it or not, you know. So I'm, I'm your gal to tell you if it's worth watching, pretty much. So the first one we're going to talk about is The Pinup Plot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm glowing, didn't you know? Probably not the best thing to say, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure the Lord is not looking too fondly upon this video. But <clears throat> I digress. So this movie... Obviously, I saw it had the word pinup in it, so I had to watch it. It is not what I uh, thought. So, if you're looking for some cute pinup girls, the you know, people that look like me, just whatever, fighting crime, whatever, this ain't the movie. Um, for one, it's only 47 minutes long. It came out in 2012. Uh, these are all adult actors. Which there's nothing wrong with that. That's that's cool. But I didn't... This is just not what I expect. I mean, there's no sex in this. Um, it's literally girls walking around in bikinis. You do see some titties. Um, which we like titties here, so... So, yeah, it has... Which I actually don't know any of these porn stars. But... Uh, Brandon Rackley, Kylie Nash, and Michelle Maylene. If I'm saying that right. Um... So, yeah, before I figured that out, uh, I thought the, the beginning credits are cute. Like, when it's first coming on, I was like, oh, this is cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so cute. La, la, la. Yeah, it keeps getting deeper into the movie, which I it's only four or seven minutes, so there's really not much to say about it. But this is basically, like, a very overly sexualized Charlie's Angels. R.I.P. Fair Fawcett. And... Yeah, it's pretty much that. And there's, <laughs> I did think it was funny because basically what they're doing is they're investigating the operations of like this playpen club. So does that sound familiar? Playboy, which is interesting because there's a guy on here, not his real name, but he plays this guy, Tony Teffler. Does that sound like Hugh Hefner to anybody? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Which I thought was really cute, actually. It's like, oh, that's funny. Because I'm fucking obsessed with Girls Next Door and Playboy and that stuff like that. So I thought it was very funny because it just portrays creepy Mr. Hefner. <sighs> nice. Whatever. And so, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to say about it. It's literally, I mean, you, there's not really a lot to say about it there's not really a lot of information about it either i just always write down what i see and what i think so yeah i mean it's 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 okay i don't think i'd watch it again um lots of tits sorry i got something in my tooth but uh yeah so that's pretty much that one and it kind of reminded me of this other film if i can call it that which is 35 minutes so yeah, that's that one. If you're looking for like what I was looking for, like, um, yeah, like 50s, like actual pinups and like, well, you know, like this, then the, you're, you're, that you're sadly mistaken, but I mean, it's okay. It's lit. It's an exotic film, but like I said, there's no sex in it. Just tits. So, all right. So which, it, what are words today? You know, it brought me to the one I watched this back in the summer of last year and I actually watched it while I was working out because it's also not what I thought it was um it's David Perry's Hot Rod Pinups which is also a book 
and they should have just left it a book. Um, it came out in 2008, 35 minutes long. I think I already said that. I like to repeat my damn self, okay? So, yeah, um, Gearhead Records is... The, they do the music and stuff and that whoa oh shit did y'all whoa once upon a time no. <laughs> but anyway i mean there's not really a, it's literally like if you were actually i might just keep it there it's literally like you're just watching a live action like just literally a picture book well that didn't that didn't fail whatever and i did there's not really that's all i wrote about it Cause I was going to do that one separately and I was like, nah, that's too short. And I mean, it's literally just like a soft core adult film. Cause I don't know if I can say the other word on here. I know I did, just did in another video, but it was so far into it. This is going to be really short. Y'all, I wouldn't waste your time with that unless you're literally just trying to look at girls, which I'm guilty of a lot of the times, but I mean, I just wouldn't waste your time with it. Just these poor models, they don't like they look so just they like they, they they could be having more fun at fucking watching the grass grow or something. That's just what they look like. And they're not really dressed like I don't I don't know. It just it's it's just not what I thought. It's mostly just girls working on cars and they're not actually working on the car and like wife beaters and short shorts and shit and sun tanning on the on the with the out in the desert like that's a good way to get sunburnt i would know but yeah that's really all i got to say uh those are the two movies for this if i can even call them movies i guess they are uh, exotic films but yeah that's i mean you can watch them if you want i mean they weren't terrible the first one was better than the second one so stick to books okay david perry stick to picture books <laughs> um but yeah and that's really all i got to say for this one um i don't know so if y'all like movie reviews and stuff like that and obscure rockabilly inclined movies that you may not know about or may not have heard about then uh please like comment subscribe because i do these once a month so yeah thank y'all so much for watching and don't forget to keep it rocking